Is that what you're going to do next? I mean, no, we're, we're talking about abortion. That's so you don't even know what that is. You don't even know what this is. The next day. My my let's, let's get out of here. You can't do that. All right, guys, so we got to talk about the loving liberal left, okay? You know, the people that are completely 100% nonviolent, right? They're not responsible for any of the domestic terrorism that goes on in this country. These are the most peace-loving liberals of all time. That's what they are. They're peace-loving liberals. They never resort to violence when they don't get their way politically, except when they actually do do that, which is all the time, okay? This party okay the democrat party liberals okay and progressives by extension uh these people are known to be violent every time they don't get their way or simply at the sight of speech that they don't agree with okay they melt down and they become unhinged and deranged okay they show you exactly who they are which is exactly what happened in this situation featuring uh this ultra woke unhinged radical professor at a new york city college okay hunter college okay uh one of the students uh was on campus uh and he was at in display he was holding a display an anti-abortion display a pro-life display and this professor uh caught sight of the display and she quite literally lost her mind and went on an unhinged rant against the student and i want to show you guys that footage but before we get into it uh, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Guys, we just experienced another major banking collapse. Despite assurances from the Biden administration and the federal government that, hey, everything is under control. But, you know, we do have a major bank that hopefully won't collapse. Bank of America that is predicting that gold will go to $2,200 this year year an all-time high invest in a gold ira today with noble gold investments and take advantage of this rare opportunity to secure your retirement savings with the experts at noble gold investments you can ride the wave of gold's historic rise to financial security and this month they're offering a solid silver five ounce america the beautiful coin with every qualifying Precious Metals IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com to secure your wealth today. And bag a free 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin if you qualify. Again, that is noblegoldinvestments.com. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. And just remember, there's always a risk with investments. Just when you thought college campuses couldn't get any nuttier, well, something happened when pro-life students at Hunter College encountered Shalene Rodriguez. They say she's a professor. We're just educating people. You're not educating This is propaganda. What are you gonna do, like anti-trans next? Is that what you're gonna do next? I mean, no, we're, we're talking about abortion. This is bull This is violent. You're triggering my students. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You're, no, you're not, because you I'm can't sorry. even have a baby. So you don't even know what that is. You don't even know what this is. Get this out of here. Unbelievable. Joining me exclusively is the student you just saw, Patrick Ruby. He's a rising junior at Hunter College. Patrick, um, what set her off in, the, in your display? Now, this is a professor uh, at the college. What is she a professor of, first of all? Or do you know? Um, I'm not sure exactly what she's a professor of. Um, she's in well, the arts department. Oh, shocking. Other than oh, that, okay. Sure. Yeah, so what, what, what was she so offended by? Um, I think she was mostly offended by our general presence on campus. Um, our tabling um, was mainly about chemical abortions and the harms of chemical abortions for mothers and for the children involved. Um, but I don't know if she looked at our supplies before she came and uh, started to berate us. Now, we reached out to the dear professor. We did not hear back. Uh, but we did get a statement from Hunter College saying they take this matter very seriously. The provost has opened an investigation into the professor's actions. An investigation? You have the videotape. What do you need an investigation? She called you guys violent. Then she violently cleared your table like a two-year-old. 
uh, her grammar wasn't so hot and her language was, you know, you know, profane. I can't imagine if that was a, you know, some type of, you know, I don't know, trans table and a, some conservative professor, if they still exist, came into the same thing. Can you imagine what the college, they would be locking Hunter College down in protest tonight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so what you just saw there is a professor by the name of Shalene Rodriguez who went on a unhinged rant and turned over a table because that table had political opinions that she disagreed with, right? She accused the students of being violent before actually resulting to the act of violence because of speech that she disagrees with. Classic leftist behavior, right? This is how they act. They can't stand to see viewpoints that they don't agree with. Again, the people that are always complaining about violence being done to them from words, they actually are violent. And we're talking about violence that's not words, right? They're actually physically violent people, okay? This woman is just one of many radicals who work in the university system. She's a part of the indoctrination that is happening to kids because again, these professors can't stomach to see a opinion that they don't agree with. So what do you think they're doing in class, right? What do you think the goal is when they teach? The goal is to indoctrinate the students that are in her class. You have to be liberal or you might get a zero, right? I did a story about that uh, yesterday. A student uh, claimed that she received a, received a zero on her assignment because she used the term biological woman. Apparently, biological woman is offensive and exclusionary to trans people. So the professor gave her a zero on the assignment. Allegedly, this is what's happening in our universities, right? Places that are supposed to be bastions of free speech and free thought, right? You're supposed to be able to freely think, okay, uh, and to freely state your opinion uh, without being punished by the teacher for your opinion. But that's not what's happening anymore because you have radicals like this professor right here working at the college campus. And quite honestly, again, this woman is so unhinged that she is actually a threat of violence. And we have more proof and evidence of that as some New York Post reporters went to talk to this professor about the incident that happened that went viral and the professor pulled out a machete and put it to the neck of the reporter when the reporter was at the door for an interview and it was captured on camera. Again, this is truly unhinged behavior here that is typical, par for the course for the left. Take a look. Get the away from my door. Get the away from my door. Let's, let's get out of here. You can't do that. Get the away from my door. Get the away from my door. Let's, let's get out of here. You can't do that. Get the away from my door. Get the away from my door. Let's let's get out of here. You can't do that. Get the away from my door. Get the away from my door. Let's let's get out of here. You can't do that. Yeah, this professor is unhinged, right? Uh, she seems to have some serious problems going on upstairs, or at least anger problems, and. Um, I'm not sure if this woman should be working at a college or a university. She doesn't seem to be very uh, emotionally stable, okay? I think that uh, her uh, employment should be reevaluated immediately, okay, uh, after that incident. I mean, that's, that's insane. So let's read here. The unhinged Manhattan college professor who went viral for cursing out anti-abortion students shockingly held a machete to a post reporter's neck Tuesday and made wild threats that she was going to chop him up. Sheline Rodriguez spewed the menacing remarks when the post knocked on the door of her Bronx apartment Tuesday morning, a day after she made headlines for flipping out on pro-life students at Hunter College. Quote, get the F away from my door or I'm going to chop you up with this machete. <laughs> the maniac adjunct art professor shouted from behind her closed door just moments after veteran reporter uh, Raven Fenton identified himself. Seconds later, Rodriguez barged out and alarmingly put the blade to the reporter's neck. Get the F away from my door. Get the F away from my door. She raged before retreating back into her apartment and slamming the door. Wow. Wow, this is incredible. 
The Post reporter and photographer immediately left the apartment building, but an armed Rodriguez quickly followed and accosted them outside. See, this is why you need to be pro 2A. See, she's against pro TA, right? She, she's woke, so she's probably against guns, but she got a machete, right? She's carrying a machete, okay? And apparently she's going to chase you, right, with one of her, her weapons. Quote, if I see you on this block one more effing time, you're going to, Rodriguez said, while still wielding the implement. Get the F off the block. Get the F out of here. Yo, the professor briefly chased the post uh, photographer down the street to his car before coming back to kick the reporter in the shins. Wow, that's assault. She finally retreated into her building just moments later. Vince DeMincelli, a spokesman for Hunter College, told the Post Tuesday afternoon that Rodriguez had been fired. Quote, Hunter College strongly condemns the unacceptable actions of Shilon Rodriguez and has taken immediate action. He said Rodriguez has been relieved of her duties at Hunter College effective immediately and will not be returning to teach at the school. Yeah, I mean, this is... This is crazy, right? This is insane. This is one of the most insane stories I read all day. The terrifying ordeal unfolded after footage uh, surfaced online that showed Rodriguez unleashing a profanity-laden attack on anti-abortion students who set up an information table at Hunter College early this month. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. So this is her. Okay. This is, <laughs> the, this is what unhinged leftists look like. Okay. Um... This is what it looked like when they're chasing you down the street trying to kill you, <laughs> right? Wow. I'm glad that these reporters made it out alive. Um, I'm glad that this person was fired. They should seek mental help, right? Uh, she's unhinged. She should not have a job working around students. Uh, she honestly should be thrown in jail as well, too. And um, yeah, this is insane. This is nuts. But again, this is how the left acts. This is what they do when they don't get their way. They resort to acts of violence. These people are unhinged, okay? They're unhinged, right? I don't know what else I got to show you to prove it, right? I mean, every protest or almost all major political protests or riots are leftists, right? They come from leftists. These people have been violent for the last three or four years, and they have infiltrated our universities, right, our colleges, Okay, it's a, and it's a major problem. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.